Hello and welcome to Bargaining University in Research. I'm Lizzie and in this video I'm joined by two people from the Masters of Organic Agriculture. So let's start off with some introductions. Hello, I'm Cor Langeveld. I'm the study advisor of the MC program of Organic Agriculture. And my name is Marie Lagarde and I'm a French student and I've been doing the Master of Organic Agriculture these last, these last two years. In this video, we are going to provide you with some more information about the Masters of Organic Agriculture. So to begin with, what is the main focus of this program? So the, the first, uh, the, the um, main aspect is uh, sustainable food uh, production and consumption. And we try to address that uh, via an interdisciplinary approach. Uh, we connect the natural and the social sciences and uh, we use a problem solving approach to tackle yeah, sustainable issues. And why did you choose this program? So I was very interested in uh, sustainable food production uh, and how the consumer can have access to uh, food. And, but I also wanted to have uh, like a, an official uh, diploma about agroecology because uh, there's many things. So having like this uh, a relevant diploma was important. And what specialisations are available in the programme? So we have uh, three specialisations. We have the Wageningen based uh, track uh, agroecology, we have sustainable food systems and we have the double degree uh, track agroecology together with Isara in uh, Lyon in France. And what are the differences between the specialisations? Yeah, so we have the, the three specialisations and uh, the first one is called agroecology, Wageningen based and it's focused on the natural sciences like soil science, animal science, plant science. Then we have the double degree track agroecology, which is double degree tracks, uh, together with Isara in Lyon in France, um, also focused on the natural sciences. And then there is the uh, social sciences track, uh, so, uh, sustainable food systems, and that's yeah, focused on the, uh, on social, the social sciences. Yeah. Yeah. And how does a student select a specialization? Basically, we ask them to, to do that before actually starting to study, but still um, while studying, they, they can still switch, they can adapt, so it, it is it is There's flexible. some flexibility yeah. to take that. Yeah. And what courses are available in the program? So we have a number of uh, compulsory courses, so, uh, about five, mm -hmm. um, integrated natural resource management, a course on, on food systems, uh, skills modules, connecting uh, more master class then you can uh, choose restricted optionals uh, linked to your, your thesis uh, path and linked to your specialization and of course there are uh, optional courses as well. Excellent and so what is the structure of the second year? So the structure of the second year uh, is, is straightforward uh, usually the, the students focus on the uh, thesis and internship uh, but it differs a bit between the double degree track and, and the regular uh, tracks. So, um, so unique to each student depending on what track they're taking. Yeah, but basi basically our, our approach is a, a thesis based approach and you design your, your program, program to, to tailor to your needs. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. And what was the most exciting course that you've done in this program? I really enjoyed all, uh, almost all the courses I did here, but I think if I had to choose one, it would be the first course I took, which was uh, Organic Agriculture in Society. I really enjoyed it because it gives you really a large overview of organic agriculture, but also the pros and cons, and you can have you, ha you have a critical view of organic agriculture. But in the same time, you also every week you go to to visit an inspiring farm mm -hmm. around the university. And you have really interesting uh, guest lecturers, and you have this uh, group project. And as it's at the beginning of the year, you really start to bind with other person. And our our project was really nice, so I really enjoyed to spend time on it with my friends. Yeah, it sounds like a lovely course. Yeah. And did you already start your thesis? Yeah, I ended it today. Congratulations. And um, so my thesis, uh, I work on a traditional agricultural system uh, in Guatemala called the Milpa. And I was uh, interviewing uh, smallholder farmers to see, to know their perceptions mm -hmm. about uh, this system. 
but also last year I did a mi what we call a minor thesis and it was in Burkina Faso and I was looking at the diver nutritional diversity of the food that the smallholders uh, farmers were growing or buying and the difference in it. Mm. Excellent, sounds like a really nice thesis. Yes. And so what are some other thesis topics that students typically work on? Well, uh, as, as uh, uh, Marie already said, uh, the, the farming systems are, are uh, yeah, quite, quite often uh, present in the thesis, but also technical issues like soil science, uh, problems from soil science, soil health, uh, cropping systems, uh, the interaction between, between different crops, uh, crop protection, so lots of opportunities to yeah, what you're interested in. Definitely, yes. So moving on to the admissions process, what are some relevant bachelor's degrees or background knowledge that is required? Yeah, so our um, natural sciences influx is, is, is the biggest. And so we have quite some students with a background in agriculture or agronomy or one of the other life sciences. But on the other hand, we also have students with a, uh, an economics background or uh, one of the other social sciences. Um, and uh, yeah, you need to uh, meet the general admission criteria mm, of Wageningen University. Yeah. Uh, we have a special interest in the in the uh, quantitative uh, mm. sciences as well, so mathematics, statistics, and uh, the English should be uh, very good. Excellent. And what was your bachelor's degree? So I did a bachelor in nutrition and. Actually, I was quite worried when I arrived here because uh, coming from nutrition to organic agriculture, I, I was a bit afraid. But when I arrived, I re you really realize that we all come from different backgrounds. But as you do a lot of group, group work and we, you always have like a holistic approach, every uh, uh, knowledge that you have aside can be bring into this project and you can, it can really become a strength in your group, which is, and it makes a super interesting project. That's actually what we, what we try to do. We try to to bring these people together with different backgrounds, and within courses, we we try to accommodate for that. So to uh, to give the students who have natural sciences mm -hmm. backgrounds the introduction to the social yeah. and vice versa. Yeah, lovely. It sounds like a really diverse program. Yeah. Which it is. Yeah. yeah. And so what are some typical jobs that graduates of this program end up oh, with? That's a wide, uh, it's a difficult question. It's a wide variety and uh, as you can see here, we, uh, we have uh, graduates in research, we have graduates in policy, we have graduates in consultancy, in, um, in companies, uh, but also self-employed. Uh, some just start their own uh, company from scratch. So lots of opportunities. Yeah, the, yeah really a wide uh, variety. And so as an international student, what is it like to study here? For me, I really enjoy to study in Wageningen. Some, some of my friends coming from big cities such as Mexico City just think that it's really small. Mm -hmm. But I, I really had, uh, you start to get a rhythm in this city and it's really easy to travel around the Netherlands or even in Europe. And uh, I really enjoy because there's so many international students that you really have different uh, concerts or events all the time. For instance, in one week, so the Friday night, I was with uh, my Mexican friends for one of their traditional uh, party, and then there was an open mic, and some there was this band from Chile who were always playing in every event, uh, in the, and in the same time, people dancing traditional dance from uh, Malaysia, and everything mixed up in uh, one weekend. So, it's. Culturally, it's really interesting for such a uh, small city. Yeah, very nice. A nice international population. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining me today and answering these questions. Sadly, that is all we have time for, but I hope that we provided you with some more information about the Masters of Organic Agriculture here at Bargaining University. If you have additional questions regarding the general admissions process or would like to chat to us on Skype, then please email students at the.nl. In addition, I would encourage you to check out the video called Essentials for Studying at Wageningen University, which provides all the information you will need to study here. Thank you very much for watching and we will hopefully see you sometime in the future at Wageningen University.